Going into the next term, into this new term, the top item in my portfolio is housing. More specifically, working through the various housing challenges that we have seen both pre-pandemic, now during the pandemic, and eventually post-pandemic. Building upon the historic $50 million investment that's contained in the 2022 um, budget that was adopted unanimously, as well as all of the tremendous information that's contained in the data of the housing needs assessment. I'm looking forward to continuing working with all of our municipal partners, our advocacy organizations, and the people of Westchester on this very, very important issue. Our work has been on display these first four years. We have stabilized our finances, cut taxes, added to the reserve fund, and raised our bond rating. We have fixed things that were left broken when we arrived. Spray Ridge Pools, Washington Headquarters Miller House, the North County Trailway, the Fountain at Croton Gorge. We have met difficult and controversial challenges head on, establishing a new New Rochelle Family Court, cleaning up PFAS pollution at the county airport, moving forward on Memorial Field renovations, funding major capital improvements at Playland. We have done new things, advanced the food scrap recycling program, passed laws to fight conversion therapy, wage theft, salary history, and more. We have honored our 9-11 first responders, continued to convert our bus fleet from diesel to hybrid and electric, placed electric vehicle charging stations across the county. In truth, our task here is not just to advance the interests of one county. We have something greater to prove that self-governing in the 21st century still works. That we can, by common effort, accomplish things of common benefit. That with all the bumps in the road that comes with openness and dialogue and disagreements, we can still govern ourselves. We do not need the false efficiency of tyranny, of any small group of self-appointed ideologues who seek to impose their will on all of the rest of us. We in Westchester, in this state and in this nation, are proud and humble at the same time. We're ready to face the challenges of tomorrow, confident not in any arrogance, but in the mighty belief, our rock-solid belief in each other, that we can forge, as the founders once wrote, a more perfect union.